सब्सक्राइब करो मेरे चैनल को ताकि आप देख सको मेरे वीडियो सबसे पहले हेलो एवरीवन हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर फाइन सो टुडे वी गन डिस्कस अबाउट द मैकेनिकल प्लग कंट्रोल व्हिच वी स्टडी इन पेरियो डिपार्टमेंट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इट्स कंटेंट्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्लग क्लासिफिकेशन टाइप्स मेथड्स ऑफ प्लग कंट्रोल मैकेनिकल प्लग कंट्रोल एज टूथब्रश हिस्ट्री So let's start with the definition. It's a specific but a highly variable structural entity resulting from sequential colonization of microorganisms on tooth surfaces, restorations, and other parts of oral cavity, composed of salivary components like mucin, discombinant epithelial cells, debris, and microorganisms, all embedded in extracellular gelatinous matrix. And this definition is given by WHO, that is World Health Organization, in 1961. So we will move into the next classification. Consists of supra gingival and sub gingival. You can see supra gingival is found above the gingival margin. Supra gingival plug is in direct contact with the gingival margin. is referred to as marginal plug. So basically, what is said here is there are two types of plug: supra gingival and sub gingival. So now the sub gingival plug is found below the gingival margin between the tooth and gingival circular tissue. So moving on to the next slide uh, plaque control it is a prevention of accumulation of dental and other deposits on the teeth and adjacent gingival tissues if patients perceive benefit from a particular toothbrush design they should use it they should use it so we are uh, we are saying here uh, that uh, the uh, plaque control its methods and now we are uh, looking at the methods mechanical plug control aids are toothbrush and dental devices and dental aids consist of dental floss interdental brushes wooden tips gingival massage water irrigation devices and tongue scrapers history you can see uh, by pausing the video you can see toothbrushes now the toothbrushes are the most widely used oral hygiene the toothbrush its parts are handle head tufts brushing plane shank as well as the bristles so by pausing the video you can read about the parts of toothbrush its bristles are very soft flexible and it cleans beneath the gingival margin and can reach further on to the proximal surfaces the cleaning performance of a toothbrush is influenced by its degree of hardness use of hard bristle toothbrush is associated now the ada specification of a toothbrush It is 5 to 16 inch to 3 to 8 inches wide and 5 to 5, 12 tufts per row. It has an 80 to 86 bristles per tuft. So the types of toothbrush are manual toothbrush, power toothbrush, sonic and ultrasonic toothbrushes, ionic toothbrushes as well as chewable toothbrushes. So these are the types of toothbrush we use to prevent the dental plug and uh, the manual toothbrushes are. objectives to clean teeth and interdental spaces of food remnants debris and stain to prevent plaque formation to clean the tongue and help osseous control so these are the manual toothbrushes objectives we use so that uh, we can prevent dental plaque and uh, we can prevent the treatment of scaling and root planning so we are moving on to the next slide its advantages are it's durable and inexpensive and it is easy to manipulate as well as it is easy to available recent advantages are colgate 360 degree optic wide toothbrush now it comes sonic and ultrasonic toothbrushes sonic and ultrasonic toothbrushes are it works in a principle of electricity vibrations of 1.6 megahertz lead to the phenomenon of cavitation and acoustic micro screaming This phenomenon aids in stress stain removal as well as disruption of bacterial cell wall which is bactericidal that means it kills the bacteria present in our oral cavity now ionic toothbrushes ionic toothbrushes change the surface charge of a tooth by an influx of positively charged ions the plaque with a similar charge is thus repelled from the tooth surface and is attracted by the negatively charged bristles of the toothbrush that means it creates ionic exchange in our oral cavity our oral cavity consists of the positive charge and this toothbrush consists of negative charge so there is exchange of ions now there is there are chewable toothbrushes also which when you chew it in your oral cavity your whole dental plaque and calculus gets wiped off so that's a chewable toothbrush is also important because it also consists of the flavored like neem flavored and 
very much flavored now there are available in different flavors such as mint or bubble gum and should be disposed after use other types of disposable toothbrushes include those that contain a small breakable plastic ball of toothpaste now uh, power toothbrush were given by 1885 by frederick tomberg a swedish watchmaker first designed the mechanical toothbrush which was followed by the first power toothbrush in 1939 These brushes mimic the action of manual toothbrushes and also make toothbrushing faster and efficient. The heads of these toothbrushes oscillate in a side-to-side motion or in a rotary motion. The frequency of the oscillators is around 40 Hz in an ordinary power toothbrush. So basically uh, these toothbrushes helps you now this is an advantage in power toothbrushes. It can be rotating, counter-rotational, rotadent, side-to-side, oscillating, rotating. interplank sony care lighter oral b vitality so this can be so this can be also said that uh, these toothbrushes like charcoal toothbrushes normal toothbrush except their bristles are infused with activated charcoal these type of toothbrushes helps in bringing uh, your oral cavity in a previous uh, it's in its previous ideal manner so the brushing techniques are now the circular phones method vibratory stillman charters and bass method vertical leonard method horizontal scrub method number 5 is roll modified stillman method and phys- psychological physiological smith method so these are the brushing techniques we use in our day to day lives the most acceptable method is the phones method so now the bass method or sulca cleaning method it is adaptable it is adaptable for interproximal areas cervical areas beneath the height of contour of enamel exposed roof surfaces as advantages are the effective method for gaining for removing plaque and provides a good gingival stimulation now its disadvantages are over zealous brushing and its technique is the bristles are placed at 45 degree angle and moved in a small circular motion strokes are repeated around 20 times three times a teeth on the lingual aspect of the anterior teeth the brush is pressed into the gingival sulci and proximal surfaces at 45 degree angle now the bristles are then activated and occlusal surfaces are cleaned by the pressing the bristles firmly and then activating the bristles so i hope you understood now the modified bass technique indications are intra sulcular cleansing and advantages are excellent sulcus cleaning good and proximal and gingival cleaning and good gingival stimulation so this was the bass technique now the technique is that it combines the vibratory and circular movement of the bass technique with the sweeping motion of the roll technique so basically you sweep by the roll motion in the bass technique the toothbrush is held in such a way that the bristles are at 45 degree to the gingiva bristles are gently vibrated by moving the brush handle in a back and forth motion the bristles are then swept over the side of the teeth towards the occlusal surfaces in a single motion now this is the modified stillman's method bristles are pointed apically with an oblique angle to the long axis of a tooth bristles are positioned halfly on the cervical aspect of teeth and partly on the adjacent gingiva bristles are activated by short back and forth motion now next we come to the phones method or circular scrub method young children indication physical emotional handicapped individuals or patient who like dexterity that means phones method or circular scrub method is for those people who are unable to judge the brushing technique or unable to do the actual brushing that we do so the phones or the circular scrub method is now explained by its the technique the child is asked to stretch his or her as such with that they are parallel to the floor the child is asked to draw big circles using whole arm in the air the diameter of circle is reduced until small circle is drawn now advantages it is to learn shorter time is required now this disadvantages are possible trauma to the gingiva the interdental areas are not properly cleaned and detrimental for the adults now the vertical method leonard's method you can see vertical stroke is used maxillary and mandibular teeth are brushed separately advantages is it is the most convenient and effective for small children with deciduous teeth and its disadvantages is its disadvantages interdental space of the permanent teeth of adult <coughs> now technique you can see technique is given very briefly now this technique is uh, what we call the bristles of the toothbrush are placed at 90 degree angle to the facial surface of teeth with the teeth edge to edge place the brush with the filaments against the teeth at the right angle to the long axis of tooth 
brush vigorously without great pressure with a stroke which is mostly up and down the tooth surface with a slight rotation or circular movement and striking the gingival margin with force. It is not intended that the upper and lower teeth shall be brushed in the same series of strokes. The teeth are placed edge to edge to keep the brush slipping over the occlusal or incisal surface. So basically this technique is a very effective technique as you all knew. Uh, as we have read this technique right now so moving on to the next slide charters method its indications are individuals having open interdental spaces with missing papilla and exposed root surfaces those wearing fixed partial dentures or orthodontic appliances for patient who had periodontal surgery or patient with moderate interproximal gingival recession so this is the charters method and its indication now these indications are very important because people suffering from uh, the indicated disease or indicated conditions indicated conditions can do the charters method and its technique is also given in the next slide now you can see in the technique it is said that a steel medium multi tufted toothbrush is indicated for the technique bristles are placed at the angle of 45 degree to the gingiva with the bristles directed coronally now the bristles are activated by mild vibratory strokes with the bristle ends lying interproximally now its advantages are manage and stimulation of marginal and interdental gingiva disadvantages are brush ends do not engage in the gingival sulcus to remove the subgingival bacterial accumulations the correct brush placement is limited or impossible the scrub method it requires vigorous horizontal vertical and circular motion the disadvantages is not very effective at plaque control and tooth abrasion and gingival recession happens this is the scrub method now dentrifices according to the ada american dental association dentrifice is a substance used with the toothbrush for the purpose of cleaning the surface of teeth they are used in the form of powder paste ointment and gel so the dentrifices are actually known for the washing of tooth or the cleaning of the oral cavities so basically dentrifices according to ada which purpose of cleaning the tooth surface ada says that it cleans the tooth surfaces and they are used in form of powder paste and ointment gel so this was the dentrifices so we will move on to the next slide so on next slide we will find that abrasive agents polishing then binding thickening agents detergents surfactants then humectants then flavoring agents sweeteners and coloring agents then we comes to the interdental aids other with interdental cleansing aids are adhesive devices which are used to remove plaque from the interproximal tooth surfaces so these are the interdental aids which are used factors now we will study about factors the factors are type on the gingival papilla fill the embrasure space completely the number 2 the gingival papilla partially fills the embrasure space and the number 3 is the embrasure space is not filled so these are the factors in selecting of interdental cleansing aids now if the interdental cleansing aid we choose we should keep in mind these factors of the dental floss it is the most commonly recommended method of removing plaque from interdental areas so dental floss is done in many ways and its technique are also given in many ways in next slide uh, we will uh, read about uh, we will discuss about this thing that how we will do the dental floss and what are the techniques that we can do the dental floss it is available in many forms multifilament twisted non twisted bonded non bonded thick thin waxed and non waxed so what happens when you do floss on flossing you choose some kind of some kind of uh, you can say strips or some kinds of uh, rope so that in interproximal areas those ropes and those strips get engaged and your calculus and plaque gets wiped out so it is available in many types as you can see multi filament twisted non twisted bonded non bonded thick thin and waxed and non waxed so colgate total also gives you dental floss in uh, many types a uh, new companies reach and gum companies so the now technique the spool method and the circle or loop method the in spool method what you do basically is you <coughs> spool 
in your fingers the the uh, strip and uh, you move it back and forth uh, in, the, in the proximal areas of your tooth now circular loop method in loop method the floss is made about 45 centimeter long and both ends are tied securely with three knots now interdental brushing is what interdental brushing is brushing in the interdental areas now the interdental brushes are available in various sizes and shapes it can be conical or cylinder brushes tapered wooden picks that are round or triangular in cross section these brushes are best choice for plaque removal from interproximal tooth surfaces they may be also be used to clean furcation areas and root concavities interdental brushes are basically given for the orthodontics for the orthodontic patients or a technique are interproximal interdental brushes are inserted through interproximal spaces and move back and forth between the teeth the diameter of brush should be slightly larger than the gingival embrasures should be clean so this is the technique now the gingival massage the massaging the gingiva with a toothbrush or an interdental cleaning devices leads to increased keratination increased blood circulation increased flow of gingival clavicular fluid within gingival sulcus now this results in overall improved gingival health associated with interdental stimulation now gingival massage what happens it increases keratinization increases blood circulation and increased flow of gcf that is gingival clavicular fluid within the gingival sulcus so gingival massage is very important in aspect of cleaning our oral cavity now moving on to the next slide we will see the oral irrigation that is in irrigation you can wash your mouth that is called mouthwash with chlorhexidine or the interdental interdental oral hygiene irrigators like to remove biofilm and are more effective than dental floss and are called a water jet or as water flosser it is consistently has been shown now mechanism of action is irrigation occurs through direct application of pulse stream of water or other solution pulsating rate 1200 to 1400 per minute now the impact zone and flushing zone these two things are very important tongue scrapers you can see it is attached behind a toothbrush when you brush your tooth in the morning you can see in the toothbrush there is a scraper attached now you can scrap your tongue by those scrapers when you scrap uh, the debris and the things that attach in the tongue gets wiped off now you can see what i was talking about it is the it is the thing that attach to your toothbrush or you can use that wire also to wipe off things from your tongue so this was all about the all about the toothbrushes and uh, mechanical aids which you can do to prevent uh, dental plaque and calculus so i hope you liked my video so if you liked my video please subscribe to my channel and uh, do like my video and share this video to all your friends uh, i keep making such type of videos so see you next time uh, study these things and uh, study for your knowledge take care bye bye and do subscribe to my channel